This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought I would try my hand at lithophane printing, which is 3D printing kind of like a uh, opposite of a relief, and when you shine light through it, well, I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail. Anyway, that's what we're doing. And I am printing a picture of the old doggo on the kitty, titty, whatever you call it, X plus three. So this has been going for about 10 minutes. It says it'll take about an hour to completely finish up. So let me show you how we got here. So, what is a lithophane? Well, this is it right here. I and mean, if you take a look, you can see low areas, like here, here, and there, kind of like that. And then, we have higher areas like here down through here and all of those different heights and if you look right here into this like trees in the background you can see all the different things and then when we put a light through it from behind we get what looks like an old timey lip or a sepia tone photo and it's really cool I've looked at these and there are other ways to do this but this is probably <clears throat> the simplest way to do it in a single color so it can be done on absolutely any 3d printer all right all you need to do is have a picture your slicer software and we're going to go to a uh, website called 3dp rocks Okay, so if you come to 3 Delta Papa period Romeo Oscar Charlie Kilo Sierra 3dp.rocks, it will bring you to this website and I will put a link to it down below. And what you can see down here are all the shapes of the different lithophanes that we can print and there, there's quite a few of them. So the first thing we need to do is give it an image to work with. So if we click on images, choose files, uh, I'm going to come into here, picture, dog, and this is the picture I used. And now you can get a pretty good look at how it's done this. And this is almost the end. There's just a couple settings that you need to do. In image settings, you need to make sure it's a positive image. And then in model settings, you want to decide how big of a border you want around it and your thinnest layer. So <clears throat> you check those couple of things. You come back here to your model. Pick what shape you want. I mean, this is a pretty good one for, uh, you know, if you want to put a little light behind it or something like that. And then you simply need to click download. Boom, bang, done. You're done here. Now you go to your slicer program. Okay, so as you saw in the beginning, I'm printing this on the Cheaty X Plus 3. So it's using the Cheaty slicer here which is a fork of bamboo. I mean, they're all pretty much either forks of bamboo or cura. So here is what I am printing. You see it has a perfectly flat back. But when you come in here, you really can see all of the different heights. And it is very important that you print it 
this way with the thin edge down. Uh, if you attempt to print this thing like this, it's not going to be as um, a fine of a print. So a couple things to uh, pay attention to before you get ready to print. In your print settings, you want to make sure your infill is at 100%. And I put a uh, 10 millimeter outer brim on it. And that's about it. All you have to do now is slice it. And you know, for this printer, this will take about an hour or so. You know, if you're printing on something that's not a faster printer, well, then it's probably going to take a little bit longer. And there you can see it. Come down through all the layers. Like I said, you would definitely want to make sure that it is solid and that you have good uh, bed adhesion. All right. So all we got to do now is uh, wait for the thing to finish printing. Well, there it is and I know it doesn't look like much and I'll tell you something else I don't know what I did there but that is definitely my fault because I've done these once or twice before and did not have that problem so are you ready are you ready to see what it really looks like is not very good for this because it is being PWM hang on one second boom how about that tell me that is not super cool I mean just look there's nothing there there's something there I love it. Absolutely love it. Thin as can be, you know, flat, flat back. It's like magic. You know what else is like magic? Solder stick. An easy way to join two wires together. Take a look at this short video here at the end and see if they have a product that might be right for an application of yours. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, whoop, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to my wonderful model, Miss Dogly Dog Girl Dogs. And a big thanks to Solder Stick. Alright, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all 
of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.